So the next song we have here is a Turntable Teachers affiliate and someone I've known for a very, very long time. This is my man Beliefs, and he is a North Shore, Massachusetts producer, specifically from Danvers, where I grew up. And he was our very first guest speaker of all time on this podcast. And he had uh, he joined us as well for uh, he's doing uh, beats with Beliefs. He was uh, doing some beat tutorials with us, and those are both uh, those two episodes are also out now. If you're interested in being a producer yourself. And Beliefs is somebody that is very rooted in old school hip hop. If you check out his uh, one of his projects from a couple years ago, uh, specifically, uh, it's called The Horizon. He's got some really great guests as well, like well known names too. Like if you're a hip hop head, you'll enjoy that. Got artists like Raekwon on there, and Millie's like who we've mentioned before. Oh, he's, word! Yeah, this is this shit's fire. Like I'm telling you right now, it's really good. He's oh, got El- okay. El- he's got Elzai on there. He's got Styles P on there. Uh, there's a there's oh, a lot of shit on cue Michael Christmas this is it's, it's so he's got a great variety of like national like very like, oh I'm gonna very, have to go listen to more it's yeah so this so that album specifically is very different from the vibe of this track that we we're talking about today and which is uh, intentions featuring Shadi G and Alma Cook. Western um, vocalist from Wisconsin. So, and the reason why I, I, I was the one that uh, picked this song in particular, of course, given that I'm, I'm familiar with him and, and, and good friends with him, but I also picked this song as well because uh, this was part of a, a, a four pack that he put out uh, a couple of weeks ago. And he had another song with Caskey and Teddy Andreas, which is a little bit more hip hop and old school, a big boom bap inspired. But I wanted to bring this one in because the vibe is very unique and different uh, from a lot of the other songs like that we have on the listing. So I wanted to get some variety in here. So and I and I'm personally because I just really like the track as well. Um, have a few critiques for of it, but I definitely definitely enjoy the song. But I would love to hear first from you what you think of this song because of course, like I don't just mm-hmm. obviously tidbit as you guys know. Like I've, we've said this before on other song reviews, like. Phoenix and I don't talk about how we feel about these songs beforehand. Like, this is all like, I don't know how he feels. He doesn't know how I feel. Right. So definitely want to hear your thoughts. This is live. (laughs) Yes, this is, this is live, live. So, uh, live reactions. (laughs) But, uh, yeah. So B leaves intentions featuring Shadi G and Alma cook. Um, I'm not going to lie. I actually, I'm looking forward more to hear Mike's piece on it. Um, because in, in all reality, I didn't, walk away with a lot to say about it um and again this is with all respect um and clearly music is subjective this could be somebody's favorite song and i wouldn't wouldn't uh you know i wouldn't hold that against you but uh i really you know i liked the breathy vocals from shoddy g and alma cook so they're both on it Mm -hmm. to be honest i was kind of uh i was kind of i had some problems kind of uh Distinguishing, distinguishing one from them. the other. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Okay, so I'm not, At first so I'm not I alone did. on that. At first I did. Uh, yeah, so and that was kind of difficult for me, but I, I think overall, and also I had a little bit of problems understanding what the lyrics specifically were, but I didn't think that this was also, in my opinion, and maybe I didn't hear it, you know, so that's why, again, I'm interested in what Mike's breakdown is going to be because I know he's going to pick up all of the details, but... I uh I didn't really quite catch I didn't grasp what the concept of the song was completely um and although I didn't feel like that was 100% needed cuz I do think a lot of this is like the vocal performance like they have these cool whispery breathy vocals and a lot of cool falsettos for sure some beautiful falsetto like runs and stuff that that was definitely very very enjoyable um and there's a real soul-y kind of thing it, was, it reminded me of kind of old SZA like I don't know if, if you listen to yeah. SZA before Control she has a very very darker more breathy kind of uh 
delivery and and that's what i got the vibes from this and, and it was definitely a vibe the 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 beat for me was uh the star of the show for sure i thought i uh, i love the jazzy kind of instrumentation there but also with some like real real spacey r&b melody in the background um and and i thought i thought it was dope i thought it was dope it, it didn't give me like, like i said when you can't understand exactly what the vocalists are saying uh it doesn't give you a large feeling or it doesn't leave me uh with like a big concept to kind of hold on to uh, behind saying. the song um but you know the performances and w- for what they were doing in terms of uh vocals i thought they did that solid and uh i also felt like it was coherently dark and mm-hmm. like moody throughout the whole thing mm-hmm. which i i also enjoyed but like i said i i want to know is there something i'm not catching mike no i i listen i i didn't even think you had more to say about it than i thought you originally did you said you didn't have a lot to say <laughs> i think you said quite a bit but <laughs> i so in terms of the like, subject matter i i kind of see your point i it took me a lot of listens to really understand what shoddy was saying because so really what i like when i distinguish the two shoddy has that first verse and Alma really just kind of adds a lot of vocals within the hook. And they have like a little bit of a back and forth. Uh, so you can tell Shoddy's vocals are very like, um, not drowned out or anything like that, but you can tell that they're a little bit distorted. And mm-hmm. I don't know if that's her accent or if it was the actual like phys- like distortion on the actual like effect of, of her vocals in general. So I'm not 100% sure where that lies. I don't disagree that at first I was having a hard time with the um, just like understanding what they were saying. But what I took away from this song, especially in the hook, was that it's more of the song was more about just kind of navigating people that don't have good intentions for you. And also on the opposite, if people do have good intentions for you, it doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship is going to work out. Like there's that concept of like, oh, well, like they this person um, you know, does have good intentions for me and they, they do care about me and, and that's all good and well, but that doesn't necessarily indicate that the relationship's going to like, you know, be a beneficial Definitely. one or an ex, uh, like a one that is mutually, like is mutually beneficial. So that was really like the, the, the meat or and potatoes of like, the, or yeah, healthy. Exactly. That's a great, great way to describe it too. But in terms of that, like that's where I kind of got the subject matter. But I, again, I, I, hearing you say that, I don't disagree that, that, the the concept isn't exactly fleshed out. And I think the runtime of the song has something to do with that. It's not a super long song. It's maybe like a little over two minutes. So it's not like, um, you know, they both don't have like, you know, very like well thought out like verses. I think, but, but for me personally, I, I, I agree with your sentiment though that I don't think that that was even really 100% the point because I actually really like just the aesthetic in general. That's what why I, I really enjoy that piece of it. And I think... This is a setting song. I don't think this is a song that you can go play uh, like, you know, with like a group of people or it's a song where like you're going to like play it at, a, at like a party or like, a, you know, a gathering or whatever the case. And like you're going to um, like that people will tune in and enjoy it. I think it's much more yeah. of a like very late night driving type song or like introspective, like in your like just in your sort of space with this. Right. Like yeah, very late night. That. That's in where your I kinda... room with the Christmas lights on, maybe some incense going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have a, I have a actually a really cool thing. It's like, um, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's like this light where it like shines and it, it, it makes it almost like it uh, looks like space and shit like that. It's like there's like, uh, mm. yeah, you know, proje- it's like a star, like a star lights. Yeah, like a projector, like a starlight projector or whatever. So like this gotcha. would be a song where I would like throw on the projector light and like just vibe out to this song because I love just the the groovy. <laughs> Mike just throws on the projector lights, you know, and yeah, dusts you set the off mood, the vinyl. You know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, you dust the, exactly. That's per- perfect. Perfect imagery there. But yeah, I, I love the like the hi hats and the drums. They have like a boom bap sound as because that I mean that's kind of has B Leafs' signature written all over it with that. And I love the funky sax sample because I'm a sucker for saxophones. So like that, that's part of it. And I like I think the the xylophone and um, sample on it as well really gives it like a very uh, distinct vibe as well or a distinct mood uh, because it's a lot, a lot brighter than the rest of like everything else. So it's very much um, I think it just contrasts very well. So. And, and, and the one thing I will say about Shadi G is I think her – I think and it's interesting because they both – it sometimes is a little bit hard at first to distinct them. But once you, like, once you do distinguish the two of them, 
Shadi G has a very like high, like uniquely high vocal cadence, and I like how it actually fit the instrumental in the way that like Beliefs utilizes that like breathy reverb on her voice. You had mentioned that as well, and um, Alma Cook's vocals feel a lot more strong than like strong sounding than Shadi. Shadi has more of I think like a light, um, really sort of touching sort of delivery. So that's. I actually, I actually, once I did, was able to distinguish them, it's pr- that, like that stuck out to me more with like repeated listens. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's a, a, this is a song where the, your setting matters, and I think it'll hit it a different way depending upon that. So that's the only like what I say critique I have of the song, and of course, and I agree with some of your critiques as well. Um, and, and it's interesting because Beliefs oftentimes doesn't do a lot of. Uh, songs like this there's a couple on the horizon that are a little bit similar ish but i don't think he's ever gone completely this direction as as he has with this so i love that he took a step outside of his comfort zone and a box to give us something like this that's a little bit more different than what he's done in the past yeah um, definitely i mean you're saying he got stuff with raekwon styles p you know what i mean like right that's so that's definitely a complete 180 from what this sounds like so yeah uh, if this is you know like in the in the scope of like his discography if if i'm going off of somebody that's producing for someone like a raekwon or a styles p this is definitely a departure from that so for sure for sure so I think even a little bit too, it speaks to, you know, again, like I said, his ability to jump outside his comfort zone and try something a little bit different. So I thought it was executed pretty well for the most part. And it's a song that I've been, I've been dabbling back and forth with a lot. So um, I want to, yeah, I definitely wanted to hear your thoughts. And you had even said, you know, cause we did a lot of the national stuff uh, in our last uh, singles review and um, you were mentioning that you, again, I, I was actually expecting that you weren't going to like this song. So actually glad that you, you found some things mm-hmm. to kind of pull away from it that you like. And because remember we were talking last time you were saying like, you know, even though I don't like it, I want you to encourage me to give me more stuff that's out of my comfort zone and out of my yeah. taste because it gives just more of a, you know, just a, yeah. an overall. So again, I wanted to diversify it as well. So this is, again, Definitely. um, I, I like oh, what it, Beliefs it, did. It, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, this is definitely yeah. in the like the pocket of the kind of stuff like when I'm trying to experiment with my with what I'm listening to. This is definitely something I go to. Like this is a dark, moody, jazzy hip hop R and B kind of thing. Like I said, comparing mm-hmm. it to an old SZA kind of vibe, which I loved a lot. It, and you know, I think you did put that really well. I think I you know I've kind of gone through this three times, probably three listens where I was definitely. Uh, present for all of them and, and you know actively listening but maybe I, I wasn't necessarily in a and honestly it wasn't nighttime you know what I mean I think so this would definitely be. hit nighttime by myself I'm rolling up a little something to end the night real quick <laughs> you know what I mean and, yep. and Mike's hitting me about recording on a podcast I, I, I decline and because I'm having me time, you know, and I could I could see that definitely playing in to yeah. how how I would how I would consume this, and and would probably make it a lot better. And like I said, um, I'm gonna go back to Beliefs, especially because you you was naming a whole bunch of whole bunch of MCs that I'm I'm into. So it's shout legit. out to Beliefs, man. It's it's legit. So again, this song is also linked in the description. Go make sure you check out The Horizon as well. It's his full-length project that he dropped about two years ago. That is, or yeah, about two and a half years ago now. But uh, just really awesome stuff from him. So definitely want to go check that one out. 